Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing another coffee cup plus a meditation or relaxation in the end class. So remember to flow with strength and ease. Starting at the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and down, pull the belly in, Mula Bandha lifting and really engage, engage the core, the TVA is pulling inward, slightly upward there is that feeling of upward energy upward movement it's a very strong concept in chinese medicine things move downward upward outward and inward so the inward is contracting the outward is like sweating stuff that's from the inside out generating heat upward foots downward foots Shifting the weight onto the left leg. We're going to take the right ankle in, tuck the tailbone under, stretch the quadriceps, the hip flexor IT bend. Go into a gentle, because it's the first gentle back bend. So without pushing, you can be somewhere here. It's okay. We're just starting with the balance. Whatever feels very easy. And here we're going to hold on to the ankle and squat and come up. One, two, three, and let it let the leg go in warrior three. Step it back, high lunge. Look up arch. Bring both hands on the inside of the leg and roll onto the outer edges of the feet. And you can do a few fluid moves here. as if you're massaging your hip and your obliques. Great, coming up, high lunge. We're gonna step into a squat, squat, high lunge, squat, high lunge, squat, high lunge, and step at the front. Reaching over the head. Side bend, look up. Side bend, look up. And back to center. Shifting the weight onto the right leg. Bring the left ankle in. Take the tailbone under, get a stretch through the front. That's a runner's stretch. Park stretch. marathon stretch because with running a lot of shortening happens in the hip flexors and that can negatively affect posture the posture and a back bend of sorts easy whatever just feel not, feels natural here play like childlike and release so that we're just holding the ankle here without either stretching or back bending and squat one just a partial squat two three warrior three
step it back, high lunge, and look up, and arch. And let's bring the hands on the inside of, of the right foot here. You can just flex the feet and either roll onto the outer edges of the feet or keep them full, keep the front foot flexing and open the right knee out and give it a good self massage of the obliques, core, hips. And straight back, come up to high lunge. We're gonna step in a squat and back to high lunge. Step in a squat, high lunge squat, high lunge, and step at the front. Arch here. Right hand right below the left elbow, press the elbows back, everything aligning. Reach over to the right and look up. Keep the elbows back, everything back. Beautiful, opposite side. Open, open the elbows and look up. So the hand is just a touch pulling to create extra length in, in the fascia really, in the muscles in the fascia and the posture and the ribs in the spine. And out of this exhale forward fold. In plank, holding plank, chaturanga, come up, shoulder tap, right hand to left shoulder, chaturanga, shoulder tap, and feel free to do the chaturangas from your knees. Two more, pull the belly in and upper dog. Knees on the ground and a few wave like motions here. One, be elaborate about the extremes of the, or the Ends of the movement, the peaks. Two. Three. Coming back onto all fours. Let's take the right hand to the right ankle and again back bend a little a little deeper than the first one, but again easy. Opposite sides. As we go deeper into the movements, we go deeper into the poses as they feel easier. And plank. From here, we're gonna step the right foot through, come into a right-legged squat, grab your Ankle, open, don't get frustrated, don't curse me. <laughs> and lower down, one-legged burpee. And again, same thing. Straight back, take your time. This is not gonna be for speed. Three back, three. It's for execution. Just feeling the push up and feeling the back bend. 
filling the plank, filling the squat too. Six. Straight back, remember that. And come from a lower squat. And lower down into squat. Burn, burn. Lower squat, straight back, seven. At this point I feel every fiber in my legs. Eight. Low, 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 yes. And nine. We're gonna make it to ten, I think. I think I can survive it. I feel it. And low, low and 10 all right step it back high lunge now i know that your front leg is burning so start taking it off the floor as your rest one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and Step it to the front, shake it out. I know now you're calling me names. I can hear it from the future. Woo! Good. This was a total mood booster. All right. I feel like everything is, every cell in my body is just like, whoa, yeah, joy. I get it. I get it why birds sing in the morning. Woo. Big breath in. One more. Exhale, folding forward, forward fold. Inhale, plank. Chaturanga, shoulder tap, chaturanga, shoulder tap, chaturanga. Shoulder, I'm so heavy handed. <laughs> totally smack in the shoulder. All right, step the left foot to high lunge. So now remember, the lower points of the squat coming up and lowering down, they're gonna give you that extra burn. A good relaxed back bend, a good push up. You can do it. This is a mission here. Lower down, hands on the floor. One legged burpee. Jump it in, squat it, come up, back bend it, dancers. Five. I think I'm throwing an extra one in. That's good. Six. This is so good. It's ridiculous. Ooh. 
I won't say this is nine. I don't know. I keep messing up my order. But by the fact that everything is burning, let's say nine. And last one. For sure, we did more than 10 or more than 10, not less. Definitely. <laughs> On both sides, I counted something twice, twice. At perfection. High lunge. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it at the front and enjoy the burn. Yes. Someone left a comment. Nice quads or nice glutes. Help with the good self-esteem feeling. Add to it. I think physicality always adds to feeling good. Not because you look good from the physicality. It's because you drop into the body and you tap into your physical strength and your potential to move. Inhale the hands over the head, exhale. Two, prayer, namaste, or two namaste. Inhale, reach, exhale, fold. Inhale, look ahead, plank. A few wave-like movements, be elaborate again, really feel it. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> Take your right ankle with your right hand and open here in whatever, <laughs> in whatever type of plank you can open in between plank and downward dog for balance opposite side today's balance challenging day i know some of you are not gonna love it but just play with it all right and stick stick your hands to the front of your mat walk your knees further back and sit towards the right, forehead on the floor, and sit, sit towards the left, hands are staying there, stretching duplex, and sit in the center. And let's glide the right hand under, shoulder on the floor, opposite side coming up for five presses because the class this class is hard it's gonna be interesting strenuous adventures so lower down and come up and again lower down and press back and lower down come up and lower down press back fingers pointing slightly in three four and five and walk your hands to the back for a forward fold. Walk to the front, push up, top of a push up 
position and or you can do even chaturanga so now what i like to do here is knee tuck push up but i like to tuck my elbow a little closer it feels better in my body so whatever works for you and tuck that elbow um reptile push up is what it's called and a few more and down dog jump through elevated bicycles so one two three four five six now you can step on the floor or even keep the feet on the floor move the the upper body as so for more one two three four that's ten and plow two elevated bicycles one two three four five six seven eight nine ten straight back and plow pose it here so that we can get a little bit of that thyroid tune up believe it or not i always feel it when i add it in my sessions my metabolism spikes up i can be a little kapha kapha the earth element earth water and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and back i'm probably about 80 percent pita probably and the rest is probably just 15 kapha and 5 vata that's my estimation not vata almost at all but we're all all of the elements so you figure there is some vata in there and bicycles one really open the chest four five six seven eight nine ten and back holding the plow one last bicycle one two three four five six seven eight nine ten bum back plow this time we're gonna jump up into squat and then burpee can you go now squat jump up burpee jump up plow so two jumps just to be extra cruel and again jump up jump up another spring up and again plow one last spring up push up spring up plow elevated bicycles one two three four five six seven eight nine ten top of a push up push up side plank crunch 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 hold plank step the right foot through and come up or here too
This would be a body weight session yoga. Side angle. An arm balance. Up dock. Down dock. Left leg steps in, warrior two. Side angle. An arm balance. Let's avoid that wall. <laughs> and up dog and down dog. And you can walk in down dog here. Big steps outside the mat, one, two. So the hands are staying still and you're stepping to the left and to the right outside of the mat and pushing into the hip or sitting back in the hip for that juicy stretch. And back to center. Knees on the ground. To all fours. Let's revisit. And grab your right ankle with your right hand. Open. Opposite side. Open. You can square the hips or not. Side plank on the left hand. Grab your ankle. Open. This is challenging. And change sides and lower down onto your belly for cover keep the elbows bent even if it's a little bit and sit back child's pose <laughs> We're gonna bring the hands over the kidneys a few inches above the waistline and gently, real gently, like a feather, tap. So let's go with, the fi with 50 taps. This is to awaken the kidney function. You count, I'll count every dance. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Sit up and we're gonna tap above the collarbones. 50 taps. Again, I'll count the same way. Now, really light taps right where uh, there is indentation here, right where the neck. Connects. 20, 30, 40, 50. Now, because right now, hopefully you're watching this from the future where there is no such massive issues, but there is now this pandemic or epidemic or whatever it is, a virus, it's good to keep the lymph going. It is good to have the body function, the kidneys, the limb, everything to be just juicy and flowing. So we start with the drainage point to the head and then let's go very light up, 
a lymphatic node. So we can start from, from um, in front and behind the ear and pull it down slightly. Just you're really pulling down the fluid from right under the surface of the skin into that drainage point that we started up with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and same thing, light movement in the back of the neck. And with the knuckles, whichever knuckle is convenient to you, from the meat in the center under the chin and in that indentation again, you pull it back. That's also for the tightness of the jawline, which I never thought, I never even thought about it up until I started seeing it go, <laughs> hitting 40. I was like, what? That wasn't even like something I even knew about. That's because I didn't think well <laughs> ahead of myself. All right. So this is very, very relaxing. Same knuckles over the eyebrow. So from the center out. It's for sinuses. Here. Massage the soft part of the ears with circular movements. And the rest of the ear again, circular movements. Going up and down the earlobe. Tell me that doesn't feel amazing. <laughs> And now along the scalp, just moving the skin around. Knuckles on the Tempos, moving in one direction, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and all three to four knuckles, it just depends on really the size of your forehead and the size of your hands from the center. You can do it with your hands if you wash your hands, but because I don't want to interrupt the shooting session, I'm just going to use the knuckles here, but you can do the fingertips. And a little bit of tapping right under the collarbone, that's more of the EMF technique, emotional freedom technique. If you've used it, let me know. It usually goes with um, affirmations. <sighs> but we're gonna do partial today. Just more tapping the body and feeling the body and moving the lymph, more that type of thing today. And you can tap here, behind the ear, right under behind the ear. You feel the lymph nodes there, probably or not. Pull on the ears, you can grab kind of like the earlobe and pull down this relaxes some of the muscles that connect to the face. And you can pull back, just take a good grip of your ear and, and relax the face muscles. Mm, good. And now let's bring the 
Let's bring the right hand to the left side of the head and try to keep everything back. Lengthening, again, think about lengthening the right side of the neck, the one that's bending, so that there is no crunch. And opposite, lengthen. You can pull a little with your hand so everything lifts in the forehead, in the face. On the top, face lift. <laughs> Stretching everything. And let's look over the right shoulder as far as you can with the chin parallel to the floor. Opposite side. And to finish this kind of detox and face renewal and lymph moving session, let's do a little bit of um, inversion. You can do a handstand, a headstand, a shoulder stand, unassisted headstand legs up the wall if you're on your period first day which i doubt you can get to this part of the class on the first day but if you are um, you can do uh, pelvic tilts that will be the safest non-inversion kind of type of thing that is stimulating so headstand maybe to put a little bit of the movement downward towards now the head to dolphin post And of course, feel free to go into Shavasana or to sit in, into a quiet meditation. You can turn the video off and sit for a moment or move on with your day. Thank you. I hope you're really relaxed now. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in my next class. Namaste.